Contact forms are kind of a big deal on WordPress sites. People are hesitant to put their email address in public online, and so they want some easy way to let people contact them. And so plugins that allow you to easily create contact forms are often the way to go for that. Um, one of the most storied and useful ones of these is Contact Form 7. Um, it's just a plugin that's there to help you make a contact form. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick search for Contact Form 7. I'm gonna install and activate the plugin. And what Contact Form 7 is gonna give me is a short code uh, which I can then put onto a page or post that will let people contact me. I'm not sure why my WordPress site is so slow right now, uh, but so I've installed it, now I'm activating it. Once it's activated, all right, so we've activated Contact Form 7, and now we have this contact thing under comments, and we just need to go to Contact Forms there, and we'll hit Add New on that. And we're just gonna use the default contact form. So it's just gonna simply be called contact form. So I'm gonna save that. And then that gives me this short code that it says, copy the short code and paste it into any post page or text widget content. So I'm gonna make a new page and I'm gonna call it uh, contact us because this is the common use case. And then I'm gonna drop in the short code. I can be in either the visual or text view whenever I drop a short code, it doesn't matter. If I publish that page and then go view it, I've got a basic short code hooked up. Now, obviously it's important that I uh, make sure that that contact form is going to go to the right email address, uh, which I did not check. So mail, it's gonna email d at j.com, which is the WordPress default for this site. Uh, which is probably going to work out fine for you, but you would go to change it on here. Uh, you've got the ability to customize your where it sends the mail, um, other things you want to set, what messages it shows when people use the form. So for example, if you just type in bogus stuff under email and try to send it, I believe it's going to warn me this email address is invalid, and you can customize that text right here. Um, so that's basically how Contact Form 7 works and um, what it does for you. Um, so with that, you're gonna get an email sent at the address that the form is hooked up to uh, when someone submits a form and you don't need to show your email address on your WordPress website. Hopefully that's helpful.